going? Today I'm working on a Rationale Combi Oven that is not heating up. So let's go ahead and take a look and we're getting the water tap which is telling us we may have some low water. So first thing first, let's go run this solenoid in the function test. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get a good angle here but as you can see we have no power going to the solenoid and we have a blown fuse. Alright, so I swapped that fuse out see we got two new fuses in there now uh, let's go fire up and see what's happening and shorted the fuse again all right so we are dealing with a dead short so uh, this f6 fuse is blowing here so this circuit is kind of complicated but uh, let's simplify what's going on but let's just follow the whole path here so we're coming here to our M5, which is a cooling fan. But then we're branching down to all kinds of things here, up to the transformer, K1 coil. This is our main incoming off the F2 fuse. And then if we go to our other side here, same thing, cooling fan. Sorry, a little bit sloppy here. Coming through our K1 contact, through some safety limits, all the way back around into our contactor coil but what gets even more confusing is these fuses also uh, run everything on this A1 so that means our dead short could be on our emptying pump M6 clean jet pump uh, solenoid valve, sorry, I keep reading the German side first. Um, M12 care pump, and then our solenoids, Y3, Y2, Y1, which is our quenching and our filling, and then our one for uh, moistening. M7 drain valve, our CDS sensor, uh, our drain valve switch. So there's all kinds of stuff going on here. So I'm just going to go to the usual suspects. So usual suspects are the solenoids and this pump here and these two pumps. So the clean jet pump as well as the um, SC pump, which is your emptying pump. So I'm going to go disconnect all these and we're going to isolate and we're going to just plug things in at one at a time until we find out what's popping that fuse and dead shorting it. All right, so fire back up here. As you can see, I disconnected all three solenoids. Our M6 clean jet pump, our M4 emptying pump. You can hear a butterfly valve opening there. Our water tap is still on. And let's just see if we can get a good angle here of the fuses. And the fuses let me see if I can zoom in here. Did not blow. So that's good. So that means our dead short is in one of these five components. So power down, of course. Let's hook back up our solenoids. And if it blows down, we know it's one of these three solenoids. Uh, it's usually not the solenoid. I'm leaning towards this um, clean jet pump. So let's go back ahead here and fire up. Getting the water light. And let's just see if we can get some heat here. Um, I'm just trying to get the fill here to see if the solenoid will fill, but I think the tank's already full. So let's go ahead and clamp on here. Yeah, I'm getting 13 amps. So that means our issues with the clean jet pump and look at the connectors. And they're in awful shape here, as you can see. Um, so let's get them changed out. Let's see if that's the source of the short. And yeah, you can see here, this is what I cut off. They're in really bad condition. So um, these are potentially what's been shorting out and the pump is still good. But let's fire up and see what happens. And nope, blown fuse once again, dead short. So it's gotta be this M6 pump. So let's just check it to ground. We're looking for open line or somewhere around there and we're getting really low ohms, four ohms. Uh, we have a dead short to ground. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is disconnect this clean jet pump just so they can use it till I can come back with a pump. And what I'm doing right now is I want to run every load in this oven and see if I'm going to pop the fuse. Okay, so because I don't want to fire up the oven, disconnect that clean jet pump, and then they call me like an hour later, oh, the oven's down again. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. I'll be back with a pump tomorrow. So I'm going to run every load in this oven. So the solenoids, uh, that's our humidity flap. Fuse is still good as you can see. So let's see if we can salvage this for one day and then uh, clean jet pump, we're not going to run that. It's not connected. And last but not least, this drain valve motor. And that is also not blowing the fuse, which is good news. And then we have our buzzer. And that should be all of our loads that have to do with that fuse. And then now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fire up and see if we can just run the oven in steam mode or commie mode, whatever you want to use, and see if we can run it without the clean jet pump. Just temporary until we can come back tomorrow. At least we'll have an oven. And we can just clean the oven tomorrow. So let's fire up here. And she's firing up. All good. All right, so I'm back with the pump. I've changed that pump out. Uh, we got the new one in there. So let's go ahead and test her out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close the drain valve and we're going to uh, fill this quenching box. If you don't close the drain valve, obviously as you're filling the quenching box, it's just going to go down the drain. So as you can see there, we went from zero to one, which tells us uh, we should be closed. And then let's fill up our let's fill up our quenching box by um, activating our quenching solenoid so let's just hold this down for you know 10 15 seconds get it really filled up so that the pump can pick up the water and then we're going to physically watch the water come through into the oven all right so now we'll activate our m6 clean jet pump and you can hear it gurgling there and here comes the water uh, we're pumping we're not blowing any of the fuses uh, they can clean the oven again and we are all good, no more dead shorts.